jump, spin, crescent kick, okay? Let out all your aggression, jump as high as your fluorescence, okay? I'm gonna teach you how to do a jump, spin, crescent kick in uh, four to five steps, roughly. Do not hit the heavy bag with this kick. This kick right here is not designed. Oh, that was my first one. It's getting Perfect. It's gonna get better, I promise. This kick is not designed to like hit a full heavy bag because you will land on your butt or head or anything in between. Probably not your feet. This is designed to like, if you do land this, it's designed to hit something that's gonna move, like somebody holding something. I don't have anybody, I don't have anybody holding something, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna see me do it on air. Actually, I have another idea too that we might be able to do. First things first, I want you to start off sideways, looking to kick this way. Understand you're going to kick with your back leg. My back leg is my left leg in this situation because it's my better leg. All you're going to do is you're going to go like this and try and land right back where you started. Simple enough. You notice what I'm doing with my arms here? We're going to get used to letting our arms pull us around. because that's how you're gonna get a lot of that like that spinning like a little Beyblade or a tornado off in the distance, okay? We're gonna get this. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna jump and spin just like I just did, but you're gonna do it with your knees up to your chest. And what this is gonna do is get you like prepared to one, tuck this foot underneath, but then two, get ready to throw that knee across that you're kicking with. Oh, it gets better. And I'm sure I will have already shown you a good one in the intro, just bear with me. But yeah, we're gonna start drilling out, picking my knee up and pointing it this way. go with the next step, which is uh, kicking. It's really simple. So that's three so far. One, boom, whoo, close one. Two, then three, let your foot out. You can start off slow and low. Just kind of getting used to flailing that foot, toes up, extend, and then out. So I can be here bouncing around if you're going to do this, you have to make sure that you're spinning in the same spot, not letting your body go backwards or forwards. Start it off slow. Get your control. Head, little tiny knot, tying a string up to the ceiling. You don't want this. Okay? Relax. Simple. Trying to tuck that foot underneath now. Okay, and then you want to get used to turning further and landing back on this line. Now I'll warn you, here's a little hint. The more you already turn on the ground, the easier it will be for you to get back to this spot here. So if I jump like this, it's going to be a lot easier. But how do we get there? Well, you take a step. We're going to start off here with our kicking foot in the front. I'm going to go like this. Step down here like this. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to jump. Please don't clip that. Okay? <laughs> I already know what's coming. I'm going to take a step. Boom. Jump up. And then go. Okay? So when you go full speed, it looks like this. Oh! Let me back up. I'm probably jumping out of frame, I know. <laughs> Do 
If you want to get vertical, feet a little bit closer together, boing, up. If you want to jump side to side, feet further away. Okay, not that you would go forwards for this one, but straight up. So I'm here like this. Okay, now let's kick some stuff. Like I mentioned, I want a target that's going to move with me. Uh, so that's what we're going to find. We've got another uh, mad scientist Seth moment here. I'm going to lightly put this here so it's something I can kick. And I know what you're thinking, Seth, you can't kick that. It's too high. You're too chubby. Watch. Okay, so I start off here and get a little tilt here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump and try and make it so my body goes like this. Up, and then turn in the same spot so I can throw that outside crescent kick. Okay, and then I'll keep going. Same concept, hitting with the outside of the foot, toes pointing up. I told you to do. Stop! It's embarrassing. Uh, all right, chill. Uh, he likes it. What is this for? What can you do this for? I mean, it looks pretty sick. This is like you can extend the bottom leg and do like the Jean Claude Van Damme. I'm not as good with that Jean Claude Van Darn. I'm not as good at that one. I like to tuck in because I feel like I get a little more spin out of it. Let's see what happens. Too much throwing in opposite directions. I don't like it. I'm gonna stay tucked. And uh, yeah, spinning crescent kick when you jump. Into outside crescent kick. Bang. Work on that hip mobility. And uh, when, when it comes to like, what's this for? My answer is like, other than coolness, just overall athleticism is never gonna be a problem. You're never gonna be in a bad situation because you're too athletic. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like studying, I don't know, microbiology when you're not a microbiologist. Like, you're gonna get smarter, you're gonna learn something. You might as well do it. What else are you doing? I'd rather do this and sit on my couch. Plus, look at this, I'm burning hecka calories. I'm at heart rate's 122. Just do it. Sometimes you just gotta have fun. Oh, um, if you want another big step, start with this foot back, forwards, this turns the hip, small back, open up the hips, turn it over, jump, go. Oh, and then sometimes you just miss, because when you jump and spin, and you're not looking, you're going to miss sometimes. The main thing is keep your feet underneath you, don't let your head fall too far backwards, or you go splat. Now time for some... Uh, for some cool slow-mo stuff. With his fists, he will punch. With his legs, he will kick. With his mind, he will win. With his heart, he will be victorious. hot in here. Whew. Um, it's really cool if you uh, never want to hit anybody with it. It's fun is what I'm saying. Whew. Yeah, send me videos of you doing it on Instagram at sensei underscore Seth. If you like this and you felt like you got anything out of it, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe or I'll kick you. Yeah. Yeah.